Are you planning a vacation or a business trip and wondering how to pack your wigs for travel? Well, today I'm going to share with you some things that I do to pack my wigs and a few things you might want to be cautious of when doing so. So, come on, join me. Hello, I'm Mimi with Mimi Wears Hair, and I'm here to tell you that if Mimi can wear hair, you can wear hair too. For those of us who wear wigs, they've become an integral part of our lives, so we feel confident, pretty, and dare I say, normal when we're wearing one. So it would only be natural that we would want to take a few of our favorites along with us as we travel. There are a few things you'll want to consider before you pack those wigs. First of all, how many will you bring? Well, that will depend on how long you're going to be gone, uh, what particular activities you'll be doing or participating in, and what the climate or weather might be like where you're going. Are your plans going to be indoors, outdoors, strenuous or just laid back and relaxing. You'll want to choose wigs that work for your scheduled activities that are low maintenance, but give you that trendy style with minimum effort. That's why we wear wigs, right? Are you planning on being outside for any length of time during your trip? If so, you'll want to make sure you check the weather forecast a few days prior to your departure. Choose wigs that best suit the climate and the weather for the area that you're going to. Long flowy wigs probably aren't the best idea on a windy day. You'll also want to get an idea of what type of wig accessories you might want to bring along. Uh, if it's going to be windy, rainy, sunny, you'll want to bring scarves, hats, and the like to secure your wig, but also to shelter it from the harsh, harmful rays of the sun if you're going to be outside for any length of time. Being prepared goes a long way to make sure that your wig is secure and protected. Make sure the wigs you bring are clean, detangled, and styled. Depending on how long you're going to be there, depends on whether or not you'll need to wash it, but you don't want to waste time washing, drying, and styling your wig when you could be doing other things. The accessories that you bring along will also depend on the length of time you're staying and the weather. You only may need minimum tools for a short stay, which might include a comb, uh, some refreshing spray, maybe some hairspray, and a wig stand, and your wig grip, or maybe wig adhesives, or a wig cap if you use them. If your trip is an extended stay, you'll want to make sure that you bring along your wig shampoo and your wig conditioner because you don't want to ever use a regular shampoo on your wigs because it can damage those fibers. You, you can always get some travel size bottles and pour some of your product into that so that you don't have to carry those large bottles with you. So bring along some hats, some scarves, barrettes, claw clips, and the like to help style your wig, but to also uh, keep it secure during inclement weather. Also make sure that you package any liquids inside of a Ziploc bag or a spill-proof case so that nothing leaks on your garments or on your wigs because that can be disastrous. Now, on to how I pack a wig for travel. So you could use a wig case, you could use a Ziploc bag, 
or the box that the wig came in. Uh, I prefer to leave my boxes that the wig came in at home because I store them in it and I don't want them to get all mangled as I travel. So what I have started doing is I will use these boxes. This is a box from the Dollar Shave Club. My husband subscribes to this and it is a much dirtier box. So it can take a little bit of a rough handling, um, that type of thing. So let me show you how I pack a wig. So I just open the box and I'm gonna set it right here, but I'll show you. So I just take and transfer everything from this box right into the Dollar Shave Club box. I take out the cardboard insert, if there is one, and the tissue paper, and then set it inside the box. Just basically transferring it right over. And like I said, this box is a little bit larger than the box that the wig came in. So if you're short on space, or if you feel that the wig itself is going to shift or move around too much in the box because of the space, you can take and tuck inside um, the wig cap of your wig, uh, some socks, maybe some undergarments, as long as they're clean, or a rolled up t-shirt. That will help to keep that wig from shifting too much, but also free up some space in your regular luggage. If I were to do that with uh, the socks or uh, the t-shirt, I would put them in a wig cap first and just slip them inside of that um, wig. And then uh, this box also, um, I don't wear shorter styled wigs, but I think if I did, I might be able to get two wigs in one box, uh, depending. So if I ever go to a short style, I'll have to try that and see how that works. So basically then just fold it up set it down so I can fold it up and then close that right up. Now, I don't store wigs or carry wigs like this. I always store my wigs flat and I will also make sure that when I'm traveling that my wigs are flat. I almost always bring three wigs, the one I'm wearing and then the other two wigs that I'm carrying in my luggage carry-on. And this is empty, but we'll just set it on top and pretend. I have a bag and I'm gonna show you that. That's right here. And it's just one of those cloth giveaway bags, but. This is the base of it. And so these boxes fit really nice inside. And there's even room, just a little room to spare on the very, the very side of it. So that I'll show you the other bag that I put the accessories in. So here's what it looks like inside. So there's that space at the top there, well, what I'm calling the top, for this other bag. And this is a bag from 31, I believe. And inside, I'll just carry, this is wig spray, my water, I have my brush and my comb in there, and then any other things that I might have to bring. Um, 
if I'm feeling that there's going to be some spillage, I might put those uh, bottles in a Ziploc bag. This is plastic on the inside, so it's kind of water resistant. But this is just going to slip down in that bag just right into that space. And then I have this and it will sit real nice just like this alongside wherever I decide to pack. Now, depending on the accessories that I bring, I have some scarves that I will take or the visor. It depends on what I'm doing. Um, headbands. Uh, here's my crocheted scarf. So all of that, I have a bag that will just sit right on top of those wigs inside that bag. Whether you're traveling by plane or by car, I highly suggest you take those wigs with you. The trunk of a car or the baggage compartment on an airplane can get very hot during the summer and very cold during the winter. So it could very much affect the wigs shape or style. Also, keeping your wig with you in your carry-on saves you from the possibility of losing that wig if you had checked it when your baggage goes missing and it happens all too often. So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Thanks again for watching. See you soon.